A pivotal national conference has been convened at Merit House in Abuja as a prelude to 2024 Democracy Day celebration. The event themed Democratic Governance in Nigeria, the journey so far, what next, brought together a diverse group of stakeholders and civil society organizations to deliberate on the state of democracy in the nation. Participants emphasized the importance of empowering the younger generation to take an active role in shaping Nigeria's democratic future as the country prepares to celebrate its 25th anniversary of uninterrupted democratic rule. Our correspondent, Beto O'Brien, has details. Nigeria is set to celebrate 25 years of unbroken democracy come June 12th and as the nation gears up to commemorate the observance, a national conference designed to engender enhanced youth participation and inclusivity in governance, featured speeches and panels of discussion to review the country's democratic history and significant strides since its adoption of a parliamentary system to complement the executive and judicial arms of government. Convener of the conference, Prince Chidiebere Ani, but stressed the importance of improved governance hinged on adherence to democratic principles and the rule of law. We need to organize a conference to create awareness among all the youth in Nigeria to come together to talk about our great country, Nigeria, to talk about how we're going to be changing the narrative positively. And this is the reason why we have uh, created this platform for us to be able to reach out, to talk about the mandate of the Mr. President, to talk about your mandate, to also talk about the mandate of the people. Federal Commissioner, Federal Character Commission, Honorable Mrs. Ginikato, encouraged youths to emulate our heroes' past in playing their roles in a quest for a better nation. I don't want to hear youths are not ready. They are very ready. I don't want to hear elders are corrupt. Not all elders are corrupt. Even though they, it's true, some youths are not ready. Some others are corrupt. So that's why I use the word, he applied both sides. So it's about, about you and I. What do you want to do? What do you think? What's your mindset? Are you going to leverage on the situation at hand? However, if it's not looking good, are you going to leverage on that to decide what your life becomes? Or are you going to think out of the box to see how you can join the administration to change the narrative? Even if you're not given opportunity to serve, you can serve behind, behind you know, the scene. All hands must be on deck to the formation of our country. If we can put their hands together, America will tell you, what can I do and what I can do for an American? They'll come out, they see it as celebration, they see it as a thing of pride. Yes, it indeed, a thing of pride and joy. To be involved in political, political and democratic institutions, structuring institutions, respecting the rule of law. It's a right and it's, a, it's something of joy to be able to be faithful to the, to the, to the, to the, to the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So Late Chief MKO Abiola and Hajiat Kudirat Abiola received posthumous awards for their symbolic role in the nation's democratic struggle. Receiving the award, their son, Al Haji Abdul Abiola, urged leaders and stakeholders to be selfless in their service to country. Very challenging. I'm sure I don't have to tell the, my brothers and sisters what Nigeria looks like today compared to what it looked like in 1993 when my father was saying farewell to poverty. Obviously, things are a little bit more difficult. Things are, have changed. But I, I, still, I still sense that hope. I still think that Nigerian people I still have that energy. Hopefully, um, with the right kind of leadership, with the right kind of policies, things will start to be done in the right direction. In the spirit of democracy and love for country, Nigerians have been reminded that the office of the citizen is important in holding leaders accountable and also in contributing their quota in building the Nigeria of our dreams. From the nation's capital, Beto Bryan, ADBN News.